Wake up, Franklin. Rise and shine, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but I've got Franklin a brand new job. And this is literally the best job you can ever imagine, guys. It ain't just working at a store. It ain't just sweeping up the streets. It's being an actual full-on fireman. And with the three hours sleeps Franklin got last night, I think he's gonna be fresh and ready for the day. We're gonna be rescuing cats from trees. We're gonna be putting out fires across Los Santos. And we're gonna stop buildings from literally burning down. Guys, we've got some important stuff to do. And I gotta admit, I'm looking forward to this. Franklin is gonna be risking everything, but he's gonna come out such a stronger person by the end of this. And if you could support him by pressing like on this video, not only will it give him a nice little bit of good luck for today, it will also make my day as well. So let's all press like together, guys. Three, two, one, smash like on this video. <laughs> all right, Franklin, let's see. What have we got in ye old fruit bowl? We got some bananas, some oranges, some apples. Yum! Oh, look at that massive improvement already, guys. Franklin's ready for the day. Okay, let's take him to the station and start the first job. Guys, what do you reckon we're gonna find this morning? I mean, people are gonna be going to bed a bit later than usual. Maybe someone's woken up and their house is on fire. I got a clock in for six in the morning, so we've got 40 minutes to go. Start off the day well and begin saving lives. I can't believe I'm doing this. Guys, this is gonna be awesome. It was only the other day I played as a paramedic and now we get to play as a fireman. <laughs> Franklin, you're gonna love this day, dude. Guys, I got my first call. Commercial structure fire, rescue 27. Mad Wayne Thunder Drive. You're the closest person and first arrival. Oh my days. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> We're gonna be the first one due. The commercial structure fire. It's only around the corner. Oh my days. Guys, don't let them down. Put the sirens on. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. First due. I don't believe this. Where's the fire? Is this the barber's store? Oh my days. Bob, Bob. No, there's a fire in the store. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to go inside and put out the fire. Franklin, grab the fire extinguisher now. I hear other officers coming this way, guys. I reckon there's gonna be other responders. Come on. Oh my days. Not the reception desk. I literally get my hair cut here every single day. Come on. Oh my days. The fire spreading. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Come on. Bob, I'm here. Yes, we got someone else. Okay, we got other people on scene. Jeez. Are you gonna help me or what? Dude, there's literally... Yeah, come on, guys. Put out the fire, please. Please. Come on. Okay, reception is safe. How's it looking inside? Oh... Thank you so much. Okay, Bob, I think your salon is good. I think we saved the place. Let's just take a look around here. Are the toilet's good. Anything in the toilets? No, toilets are locked. Staff only, nothing in the staff room. Okay, guys, you know what? I think we put out the fire. Coming in, coming in. Rescue 27. We got a commercial structure fire on Portola Drive. Can you get there? You'll be the first to arrive. You're the closest there. Oh, geez. Guys, I'm the closest one there. We got like a mile left. I'm gonna have to make a jump. We're gonna risk this. Nice. That's cut off so much distance. <laughs> Literally a third of a mile. Four. It pays off, guys. It pays off to have confidence. It's so foggy, dude. If there's smoke coming out of this building, then it's going to be weighted down. And, man, it's going to stay in the air much longer. we got to put out this fire. Commercial structure fire. Let's see. What have we got? Oh, man, that spread pretty fast. Come on, get inside. Ow, 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 ow. I just literally just ran on the fire. <laughs> Come on. Jeez, this is dangerous. Dude, the entire store's on fire. Are you kidding me? Come on, I can really do with some help. I've only got 60% left of this fire extinguisher. Dude, we're not going to have enough. Come on, I've only just put out this corner. It's still... There we go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. 40% left. Back up, anyone? I'm the only responder. Come on, grab the clothes. Dude, the clothes. There's so many expensive clothes in here. I hope they've got insurance. Okay, you know what? I think we're good. Oh, no, guys. The shopping assistant was in here at the time. Okay, I'm gonna need to get um ambulance back up. Afternoon officers. We got a receptionist behind the desk. Doesn't look too good. Doesn't look nice at all. Oh, my days. I can't believe that, guys. At least we put out the fire, but can't save them all. You just can't save them all. That's what we gotta tell ourselves. Calling all teams. Calling all teams. We've got a vehicle fire on Sandcastle Way. You're going to be the first Jew. Rescue 27. You seem to be closest. Can you get there? Can you get there? I repeat. Can you get there? Oh, my days. He seems serious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there. First Jew. I think I can see a helicopter in the sky. Oh, my days, dude. Wait, hang on. Where's the waypoint gone? I can see the vehicle, but no waypoint. What have they done? Oh, no. It's flashing. It's flashing. Oh, my days. Guys, I have a really bad feeling about this. No, 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 no. Guys, I'm spending way too long trying to get this car. It's flashing as well. Come on. On. I'm doing some off-roading. I'll apologize later. Going through the car park. Where's the fire? I've arrived. We've got fire brigade. Excuse me. Can I just get through? I can see a car. Oh, there it is. I can see the fire. Let's put out the fire, guys. This must have been so close to exploding. Imagine the casualties, dude. There's so many people around. Oh, geez. Sorry. <laughs> just ran over someone. Okay, I think... I think we're good. Fire done. It's just smoking now. Uh, we got an automatic fire alarm going off on West Mirror Drive. It's been buzzing for 10 minutes. No response from owner. We believe there could be a fire. Rescue 27, you're the closest unit to the location. Can you get there? All right, we got an automatic fire alarm. So this could be anything. You know, someone could have triggered a fire alarm. Maybe it's just going off 
because it's having a bad day. Who knows? But I gotta check it out, guys. You never know. Oh my days. Petrol station. I don't blame them for wanting me to arrive. There is a fire going on. This is at the petrol. Guys, move it. Move it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I better put this out quickly. A fire at the petrol station is not good. All right, don't worry. I'm here. I've arrived. Come on, come on, come on. Stop the aisle. Guys, I need your help here. I'm actually working with the fire department team. This is so cool. <laughs> Let's just put out the gumball machine. Carnage. That was total carnage. What is the shopkeeper okay? Hey, hey, excuse me. Hold up here. I came here first. This was my... Oh, my days. I see how it is. Hey, 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 hey. I'll have none of this. Yeah, I got fire extinguishers. See how you like that, huh? Dude, they don't like me. Why don't they like me? I'm gonna check if we put out the fire. Just bear with me. Let me just get through. All right, fire has been put out, guys. Now I'm getting... Hey, 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 hey. What's, what, what is your problem with me? Seriously, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna back away. I don't really fancy having problems. I gotta call backup. There's a bystander down. Guys, can we just help the bystander quickly? Well, we got an ambulance here. Don't worry. Bystander's gonna be fine. If you could just do some... Uh, paramedic work on that. Uh, guys, I got another call out. So, uh, yeah, if you want to help me out, you can. But if you want to just get angry at me, then be my guest. Yeah, yeah. See how you like it, huh? <laughs> Screw you. All right, let's get out of here, guys. I got another commercial structure fire coming in on the radio. I'm the first one on scene. I definitely will be the first one on scene now. It's two miles away. Jeez, I have the worst team in the world. It's two miles away, dude. I'm going to be the first one to arrive. All right, you better get there quickly. This fire can spread very fast, if not. I think this might be in the clothes store. Oh, Jeez, I used that clothes store as well. It's a pretty good value store and they sell so many things. They sell some amazing shoes in there, dude. And hats. Let's not forget about that. Oh gosh. Okay, guys, we're going to the fire. Don't worry, I'm here. I've responded. I got a fire extinguisher. Let's go in and sort this. Oh, jeez. That's right at the door, guys. Stay back. Stand back. I'm gonna run up. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, run on the fire. That's always a good idea. Put out the fire. Put out the fire, dude. Dude, this is spreading so much. Where are the other guys? Come on. Okay, I think this is kind of working. If we set a perimeter around my feet, then the fire can't get to me at least. And that'll buy me some time. Man, it's setting fire to so many expensive clothes. There's gonna be like tens of thousands of dollars of damage here, dude. Alright, how long do I have left of my shift? I got like one hour left, guys. So let's carry on. I'll do another task. I really want it to be epic this time. Like, I want to run into a building and like save people. How cool would that be? Uh, coming in, we've got a vehicle fire. Address Clinton Avenue. Unit assigned rescue 27. You'll be the first one to arrive. You're the closest on scene. Can you get there? Oh, yes, I can get there. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. What are you doing driving on the road, buddy? Can't you see fire engine coming through? All right, guys, I got to go and sort something out. We got a vehicle fire happening on Clinton Avenue. I am the fastest and the best fireman around. Franklin, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. If you start putting comments in the comments below saying there's better firemen in Los Santos, well, go and find them, guys, because they ain't doing anything. All right, I can see the car. It's flashing on my radar. I'm going to take the street aligned to that car so we're not, like, turning too much. I really hope it's not a supercar. Dude, you can lose so much money like that. Oh, my days. It's already exploded. Guys, I was here too late. It literally just exploded in front of my eyes. And oh no, the owner was right next to it, dude. Let's make sure there's no other casualties. I can't believe that. The car exploded in front of my eyes. Oh my days. I don't think he's gonna make it, you know, guys. Let's find out. Oh yes, fire brigade. Good to see you've arrived, huh? <laughs> Bit too late. What kind of car was this? Do you recognize the... What are you doing? Seriously, I put out the fire. What do we have? A grotty. That's a sports car. That's a nice car. There's the owner. I'm so sorry, lady. Guys, I'm gonna do something better. I'm gonna do one more shift. We got a motor vehicle accident on the Del Perro Freeway. Police department on scene. All units, please arrive as fast as possible. Del Perro Freeway, huh? Motor vehicle accident. So this could literally be anything, dude. Yeah, we better go and put out this fire quickly. We don't want any more accidents. We don't want to hold up the traffic. People are trying to get home, see their families, go about their day, maybe sort themselves some dinner. We don't want any of that to happen, guys. Traffic can build up so quickly. I don't know if it exploded, but it looks pretty bad. There's a body right next to it. Oh gosh. Oh my. And, and a police officer. Oh my days. Okay. Fire has been sorted just in case. Let's see if we can put this out even more. Take a look around the car. I don't want this exploding in my face. No. Okay. That's good. We're going to try and save the victim. Don't worry guys. Clear the area. Clear the area. I'm going to try and save the victim. I know a little bit of CPR guys. You know, after all, we are a fireman. We got to rescue people. We got to save the day. How is she doing? Does she have a pulse? Come on. Looks like she went straight through the windscreen. Let's see. Okay. We're doing some CPR. Come on. You can do this, ma'am. You, you pull through. Pull through. We need help on the police officer as well, guys. I'm gonna call some ambulances on the way. Oh, dear. No, my guy Franklin thinks there's nothing we can do. Just in case, let's call the ambulance. Yeah, he, guys. This isn't good. Paramedics, let's get some on scene. Victim is... Oh, no. She's dead. Oh, 
man. That's so annoying. Okay, we got emergency services on the scene, but you know what, guys? On that note, we put out loads of fires. I'm really sorry for the victim. There's nothing I could have done, but now she's in the hands of the paramedics. Maybe they can save her. Who knows? I'm getting out of here. We're going back home. We're clocking off, and we're getting ready for the next day. Well, I won't be needing this fire engine anymore. It's all yours. Have fun, night team. I'll be getting out of here and going home. <laughs> oh, man, what a day. I fancy saying hello to Chop, you know, making sure he's good. Chop, how are you doing? Do you have a good rest today? Oh, no, he's gonna be up all night barking. He was sleeping throughout the whole day. This is what happens when I leave him alone, guys, and not take him for walks. He just sleeps and stays up all night. All right, Chop, let's take you out for a nice walk. But on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash like and remember to subscribe, guys. This was fun. We got to do some serious work around Los Santos. And Franklin, I must say so myself, you did amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nord. And until next time, stay awesome.